I don't know why, when a weird bird, fish or any lower animals are found, the mother man comes up with hungry caveman ideas. Can we eat the bird? Is that fish safe to eat? Will it have a delicious flavor? <laughs> are we that hungry? Can't we just pretend the pretty creature is a rare star? Take some cool pictures with it, ask for an autograph, they go home happy and satisfied. <laughs> I know what's on your mind. There is nothing as satisfying as a pretty fish digesting in my tummy. Yummy! Huh? It's a bird. It's a plane. Nope. It's... it's... it's a flying fish. Exocity Day. A family of marine flying fishes known to propel themselves out of water. With such powerful thrust from their tail fin, they can leap out of water at 60 km per hour in order to escape from predators. Predators like the mackerel fish, tuna fish, swordfish and the marlin fish, just to mention a few. Once airborne, they glide with the use of their large wing-like pectoral fins and they can cover up to 400 meters in a glide. When airborne, they also become exposed to other sets of predators flying in the air. The fish-eating birds snatching them up for food too. This is literally a case of being caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. Poor creature. Although the exocitidae are called flying fish, they are not really capable of powered flight. The name exocitidae originates from a Greek word which means sleep outside. So leaping out of water is a way of life for this fish type, a habit that sometimes get them landing on ship deck to become easy meals for sailors too. So far, 64 species of flying fish that have been recorded are coral reef ocean dwellers. Although the Exocitidae is unknown to many around the world, it's a well-known iconic fish species to the inhabitants of Barbados, whom also have its iconic figure placed on their passport, flag and coin. In recent times, the number of exocitidae in Barbados have drastically reduced. Since climate change have taken a larger portion of the blame. Or maybe we should all come to an agreement that the flying fish in Barbados got tired of living there and they all flew off to pay a visit to the walking fish in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, walking fish or ambulatory fish are fishes that can travel on land for an extended period of time. One of them is the axolotl. It's a Mexican walking fish. The name axolotl is derived from the Aztec word which means water dog or water monster. Possessing cylindric bodies with short legs, long tails and a feathery external breathing gear. Axolotls are endemic species to Lake Xochimilco, a world that reaches site in the valley of Mexico. Axolotls, under the threat of extinction in the wild, majorly due to increase in invasive fish species and pollution from the city's troubled canals. More axolotls have been taken into captivity to increase their numbers. At the same time, scientists are looking for ways to decode the regenerative properties of axolotls by applying their secrets to humans for regrowth and healings for those suffering from injuries and loss of body organs. Imagine having the superpower of the axolotls to regrow lost body parts, you'll be young forever. Anyways, while scientists are still looking for ways to tap this power, there are already proven ways to remain young forever. Just make sure you get enough rest, exercise, detoxify, and eat healthy meals. Diets rich in vitamin C and collagen derived from a marine source like the tuna fish, salmon fish will help your skin stay young and wrinkle free for a long time. Remember, many of your skincare products claim to have collagen in them. Collagen is a proteinous, fibrous glue that holds the body together. It is responsible for healthy joints and good skin elasticity. A good amount of collagen means fewer wrinkles on the skin. Oral collagen supplements have been shown to improve skin hydration and elasticity for older people. More collagen means thicker hair, stronger bones and younger looking skin. Another way of looking young is by applying sunscreen on your skin in order to block the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun from damaging your skin. Also change your lifestyle habits too. Quit smoking, it gives a rush of free radicals that accelerates the aging process too. <laughs>